Right, we're here with Greg Berg. Greg, you've been waiting a long time for that. Here we have. Um, debuted in 2007. I uh, haven't had a lot of glory since then, but um, finally we've got something to celebrate. Tell us the feeling right now about being a part of something so special. Oh, it's just surreal. Um, you know, after two games, going up the Suncorp, no one expected these guys. I think we were the longest shot um, you know, outsiders ever to win a game at Suncorp Stadium. And um, then we come back here in front of our home crowd and battled out. We were behind on the scoreboard until five minutes to go. And then, um, yeah, ground out one of the toughest wins New South Wales had. Um, exactly the same as the first one. And, you know, finally these guys have, have got something to enjoy. Finally these guys have got something to celebrate because um, it's been such a long time coming. There was certainly a roar out there in that last 10 minutes that, that we've never quite heard. Was, could you hear that? Was that spurring you on? Oh, I couldn't hear anything. I was looking at the defence of the line, trying to get as much line speed, trying to make every tackle, trying not to drop any balls. Uh, it was just one of those games where we, we just had to do it whatever it took to win. And, and, you know, it wasn't pretty. I'm sure the crowd was right on the edge of their seat as they were in the first one, but, um, yeah, we muscled out a good, tight victory. Was there any time there to, to let the nerves build up or were you just complete adrenaline? Oh, it's a combination of nerves and adrenaline, really. It's hard to really differentiate between the two because you know, there's so many emotions. As you're tired, um, you're ecstatic that we're winning, uh, you don't want to lose. Uh, there's so many different emotions running through and thoughts running through your head at the same time. You know, you just got to keep turning up for your mate and, and make sure that we do whatever it takes to, to, to stop them from getting down the other end and scoring points. And, um, you know, although, like I said, it was ugly, um, all that matters is we won in the end. It's a special day for all the guys in the side, but in particular the veterans that have been there for a while. Yourself, Paul Gallen, how much um, of a great occasion is it for the captain? Oh, massively. Um, playing at Cronulla, and you know, it was only really the World, the World Cup victory last year. The only thing we've, both of us have really got in our cabinet, and um, more, I think, more than anyone that guy deserves because he's been leading, he's been leading the charge for New South Wales the last few years, and you know, blokes like Ryan Hoffman, uh, Luke Lewis, Anthony Watmau, Robbie Farrell. You know, we're all 30 plus um, blokes that have been there without feeling that glory, without tasting that victory. Um, you know, finally we've uh, yeah got something to crow about. How much of it is, um, you know, the fact that you're giving that to the fans? The fans have been waiting just as long as you guys. Yeah, they have. Um, and, and and we stayed out there and, and celebrated with those guys as much as we could. They stayed. I'm sure they're probably still out there um, cheering and, and and enjoying the victory. And and I think Sydney's going to buzz for the next couple of weeks now. Um, job's not over. We've we've still got another game to go, and I'm sure the guys are going to be pumped. Um, when we when we head up to Suncorp Game Three, how do you feel now heading up there? I mean, are you just kicking back, relaxing now, knowing you've won the series, or do you want to make it three three out of three? Oh, the state of origin is the state of origin. It doesn't matter whether you've won the series already. These guys are going to get pumped and, and get ready. Um, you know, like it's any other game. So yeah, a whitewash is what we're after now.